if you are still confused gold will go 1680 or 2070 then this video will end your confusion we will start with daily time frame these two bottom survive last week with multiple fed speech first we will discuss bullish setup then we will talk about bearish setup so this was our bottom and this retracement bottom and if we only compare last leg then it has made 38% retracement and if price make a new high inside this a possible parallel channel then it can go up to 50 or 61% retracement from 1892 to 1917 and this is our strong horizontal resistance zone on daily time frame if this bottom survive one more peak and a new high comes on daily time frame then this resistance zone will be first target for bulls and seller which will decide next trend for gold for next one year because this can be a avc zigzag correction or can be chart pattern before final drops like last time because before that drop price made a flat correction on h4 time frame you can see this horizontal resistance zone from 1895 to 1907 is our key resistance area and this can be our parallel channel upper line has been tested 3 times and lower line is only tested 2 times until these two level does not break gold cannot go 1680 and if you like reading news then what will happen in second half of this year is very important either stagflation or recession so this new quarter and second half is bullish for gold based on fundamental analysis but before next 6 month or 1 year in next 30 days we have many economic data which will decide what will happen in global financial market for next 1 to 5 year our first economic data is us gdp which will be on 29 june and this will increase the risk of recession more negative number more risk or if they come positive then they can change market psychology then we have nfp on july 8 on friday since last nfp every week at least one us company announce that how many job they will cut because of recession so all of these job loss will be so in this nfp so more downside on nfp data is already set and if surprise come then big drop will increase a recession risk then on july 13 we have cpi which is number one topic for everyone because last time 
आफ्टर माइनर रिट्रेसमेंट इट मेड ए न्यू हाई ऑन ग्राफ चार्ट एंड इंस्टेंटली मार्केट साइकोलॉजी चेंज नेस्टेक केम डाउन एंड फैट चेंज इज प्लान फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी फाइव इफ दिस हैपन अगेन देन रिस्क ऑन नेक्स्ट एफ ओ एम सी इज देर विल बी फिफ्टी और सेवेंटी फाइव बेसिस फाइंड रेट हाइक एंड दिस डिपेंड ऑन दिस सी पी आई नंबर्स इफ इट केम डाउन एंड बाइडन्स ड्रीम डेट इन्फ्लेशन इज पीकिंग विल बिकम रियल सो रेट हाइक फ्रॉम सेवेंटी फाइव विल टर्न इन टू फिफ्टी बिकॉज दे हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन वार्निंग अबाउट वन हंड्रेड बेसिस पाइन रेट हाइक विच विल बी हार्ट अटैक फॉर स्टॉक मार्केट सो नेक्स्ट एफ ओ एम सी इज अबाउट फिफ्टी और सेवेंटी फाइव एंड विच विल डिपेंड ऑन एन ए पी जी डी पी एंड दिस सी पी आई एंड यू नो बाइडन थिंक दैट सी पी आई इज गोइंग अप बिकॉज ऑफ हायर ऑयल प्राइस एंड इफ यू सी दिस वाइट वर्टिकल लाइन पेन सी पी आई डेटा केम देन ऑन लास्ट थ्री सी पी आई नंबर्स ऑयल प्राइस आर गोइंग अप and if this top in oil price survive and this horizontal support 95 breaks and before next cpi oil price stay below this 95 level then this can be first sign for inflation is peaking because of oil price so cpi number are also depend where oil price will go because for this drop there can be many reason one of them is biden is selling their oil reserve and recession fear if recession start ordinary middle class people will lost their job and so they will lost their monthly salary and in last recession in usa in 2009 people have to sell their car so this can be reason that oil price are peaking so this fed rate hike and lower oil price will bring inflation down and a minor retracement will instantly change market psychology like last time and last is fomc meeting on july 27 which will be driven by all of this data nip cpi gdp and their target is this high before corona virus so gold price will change their trend based on this news until fomc some will sell and buy gold based on this information but final action will come near fomc either market make bottom and hit 2070 in next 6 month or it will make new low and retest 1680 and all of this depend all of this data and which will influence fomc decision on weekly time frame you can see these are our support and resistance before going 1680 it has to break this 1788 support level before going 2070 first it has to break 1902 to 1960 level and weekly candle should close above that level and in next 30 days either it will go up 
or down and if you go to h1 time frame before starting a new trend the breakout of 1805 support and 1857 resistance will confirm a new trend in gold price and confirmation come faster on h1 time frame and if we go to daily time frame back again then biggest speculation for gold is recession stagflation and this rate hike cycle if fed does not stop rate hike then it will kill us economy and when they will start qe again those investor speculator are already buying gold they are not waiting for official announcement and last week he said he will reduce balance sheet for trillion dollar when last time same thing happened in 2013 they could not do that and start qe immediately so there is a big speculation for gold in july month they will pause rate hike here psychology is important and they have no choice but to stop this rate hike cycle because higher rate will kill everything bitcoin has already crashed and this rate hike cycle does not stop then nasdaq will do same like bitcoin so for a retail gold trader this next 30 days all of this news and speculation that when fell will announce their rate pause and qe technically you can say gold can go 1680 what fundamental for gold are bullish and it goes up in both condition inflation and deflation so as long as price is trading above this 1786 support level i am bullish on gold and first upside target is 50 to 61% retracement